start by launching up Firefox and then we're going to be going over to the good old Google and find uh, get uh, Firebug search for Firebug and let's grab the Firebug add-on extension down here for Firefox and this extension should work fine I'm assuming we'll click add to Firefox and see the add-on is what they're calling them it's all set we're saying yeah I trust it let's install it Firefox Firebug will install after you restart so let's go ahead and restart okay so we have Firebug installed now to use Firebug um, there is a it used to be on the lower right but now it's up here in the upper right this little switch here if we click that it gives us um, some information on what is running on the web page that's open okay in order to find where video is pulling from we need to do a couple things down here first thing we'll do is click on this dot net or this net um, switch here and we need to enable net alright now what that we are on a, a page that we have some video that we want to download this is um, some stuff for a reel for Nick Lofting um, we needed to pull one of these down to show client um, what we would do is uh, quickly just uh, click this little bug looking thing up here in the upper right this is firebug you click on there it's gonna load up a screen on the bottom down here every thing that is loading on a page no matter what website it is is gonna show and um, what we're gonna be looking for is the biggest thing uh, it's always the video pretty much on any website these days that I've come across um, you'll see the bar fill up as it progressively downloads and this is how we're gonna get the source video so what we'll do now is we have to refresh the page for stuff to show up on there so if you hit command R start refreshing the page you can see the video is starting to play up there meanwhile down at the bottom we have the this gray bar that's filling up you'll see uh, it uh, it just finished downloading it's 18.2 megabytes so that we know that's definitely the video clip now to download it it's pretty simple all we need to go over here is to the FLV which is the video source and if we just command click right click on it it'll ask us you know do we want to open up this specific file uh, we just want to click on save file and uh, click OK and you can't see it because it's already downloaded but over here my other window which I'll drag over uh, we have the video so basically that's all there is to it and now you can see um, I have the actual video file downloaded to my computer so I can recompress it if I need to uh, distribute to client get approval anything like that don't use this to steal video that you're not supposed to have hit me up with any questions you got and see you next time